So today's been an exciting time in the market. Most of the coins are up. I'm gonna go over a couple reasons why, as well as some technical analysis for the meme coins that we covered in my last video. So looking at the market today, again, Bitcoin's up 7% over 66K, Ethereum's back above 3,000. And if you look at the top gainers, Phantom's up 17% ahead of its Sonic upgrades. So this is creating a lot of hype for the eco. So keep an eye on meme coins and any other opportunities for that market. And then GameFi is actually catching a bit as well. So IMX is up 16%, Beam is up 14%. And then AI as well, because we do have NVIDIA earnings coming up May 22nd. So Tau, Near, Fetch. Again, expect AI coins to continue to pump over the next few days ahead of the earnings announcement. Now, let's go over a couple of big reasons why the market is pumping. So a big reason is the CPI data came out today and it's actually a 10th below forecasts. Now, what does this mean for us? Well, this means that there is a higher likelihood that the Fed will cut interest rates sooner and have more interest rate cuts this year. So originally people were only expecting one interest rate cut, but now this increases the likelihood that we could have three or more. So you can see here it says, Senator Warren and dozens of other Democratic lawmakers have pushed this week for Biden to use his executive authority to drive grocery chains and food companies towards lowering their prices. The Democrats' move comes as inflation continues to frustrate voters helping the election prospects of Republican presidential nominee Donald Trump, which Donald Trump now supports crypto. He's accepting donations for his campaign, so expect him to also continue to create hype for the market. Now it says here, if the next couple of months of data come in similarly, then rates should trend downward as the Fed solidifies its plans around the rate cuts. So this is extremely bullish for rate cuts, which is why everyone is bullish on the market and betting on more of those cuts happening this year. So again, some good stuff with that. We've also seen Grayscale actually had positive flows today. So they've only had positive flows once or twice in the past since the ETF was approved, and now they have positive flows again today. So whatever the reason, it's good to see inflows for Grayscale as they're usually a net outflow institution. So good to see that. And then also mentioned on this tweet, if you aren't following me at the crypto data, definitely do so. But I mentioned some catalyst upcoming. NVIDIA earnings May 22nd, Ethereum ETF May 23rd, which possibly could get approved. So the percent chance is 14% on poly market right now. So we never know, right? And you have treasury buybacks May 29th. We have a stimulus and then also post having rally that people tend to forget about 50 to 100 days after, which coincides with the end of May towards mid July. So keep an eye on these. I mentioned that just before, you know, everyone's complaining and everyone's looking depressed that's when the market pumps. So you got to keep an eye on these catalysts upcoming so that you maintain your sanity and don't get chopped up by the market. Now, let's talk about our meme coins. So I made a video two days ago about GME because Roaring Kitty came back, the guy who originally pumped the GameStop stock from single digits to over 400. Now you can see on that video, GameStop was around 1.1 cent and actually went up over 100% to 2.2. And then now it's retesting the support at 1.1 cent. So is this gonna continue? It's hard to say. If Roaring Kitty continues to tweet and actually gets more exposure via interviews, et cetera, then this could very well continue upward and we could continue to see a meme super cycle like I mentioned in last video. Then next, I talked about Michi. So Michi is the cat that Ansem is very bullish on, one of the main CT characters on Twitter. And right now I drew this ascending wedge, which is a bearish pattern, but this does give us a chance to continue higher up towards that 59 60 cent level so right now what i'm expecting is to continue to chop in between this ascending wedge and then potentially drop to this major support near this 32 cent level could it happen it could or if we break upwards we could retest this wedge as support but again just keep an eye on this uh, this has been doing fairly well since i talked about it in my video on the 13th but again it's just been kind of choppy but still continuing upward so keep an eye on that and then Trump is another one I talked about and it's been doing very well. So you can see it's been maintaining this level around seven to $8 and it recently broke this resistance. Let's hope it closes above it and this next resistance is around that $10 level. So if we break this $10 level, look for it to regain it as support and then continue higher to break those all time highs. So I'm expecting the Trump coin to continue to do well. It's 412 million market cap. I can see it at least pulling a 2X from here, especially as he continues to talk about crypto, adopt it, accept it for his campaign donations, et cetera. A lot of bullish news. A lot of people are gonna be looking at this coin. It has good liquidity, 7.6 million, 6.8 million of volume. So you can still come in with size and it's on the Ethereum network. 
So again, not in the Solana. So there's, it's a little bit better in the sense of there's less dilution of capital from the Ethereum network for the meme coin. So keep an eye on that. And then a big winner for us has been Selfie. So I talked about Selfie a couple days ago. It was near uh, these levels here around this one sit level. And then it skyrocketed over to 3.5 cents. So it literally went over a 200% since I mentioned it in my video. So definitely watch Selfie. Ansem tweeted about this one as well, or at least he responded to this one. And also you have National Selfie Day on June 21st. So a little over a month. So keep an eye on that as a catalyst. But this one is another one that has this ascending wedge. So be careful guys. I could very well, if, even if we go on the hourly chart here, you can see it's not as clear cut here, but I could still do it, see us breaking down to this 1.3 cent level. So keep an eye on this. Again, I'm still bullish on the coin, but I just don't like this ascending wedge pattern here. So just keep an eye on that potential drop towards there. And then last but not least is a coin called Chippy. Now this is a coin that's actually starting to gain a lot of traction. A couple of buddies of mine are in it. They're very bullish on it. And it had a nice rebound from the lows of 005. And now it's up over 150%. So this coin is doing extremely well. And I definitely think we could see this continue higher and breaking all time highs and potentially going to 100 mil plus. So this is a big coin as well um, on pump.fun. I think it was ranked number five for a couple days and it continues to be high ranked. So definitely keep an eye on this one. Should see some nice uh, continued catalyst for this coin as well. So with that, I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Again, if you're not following me on Twitter at the crypto data, definitely do so. Provide a lot of alpha here for you guys and keep you guys up to date on the latest news so you will never miss it. So if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like, please comment if you have any questions and please subscribe if you haven't. Thank you guys so much for watching. Till next time.